Hey guys, it's Rejections here, and I've just got Fortress Craft, which is a game that's like Minecraft, but it's not, um, it's an indie game on the Xbox 360 dashboard for, I think it's 240 Microsoft points, and it's just basically came out, um, in the past two days or something, and I'm just going to have a go at it. I've played it once online with my friend, and the servers were basically broken, um, it just, like, keeps backing you out, then it starts glitching, and you start floating around the map, and everything becomes invisible, and then you get stuck in some rock or something, so I think they've got to sort out the online side of things, so we're just going to take a look at planned future development first, see what they've got planned, and it says Fortress Craft is unfinished where, which means that it's still in its beta stage, and they're still sorting things out, and adding things, taking things away, changing the game and I think they're going to be adding minions to the game because it does say minions there and I think that's basically like animals and stuff and if you want more information then just check out fortresscraft.com and that's their website for it so I'm just going to give you a review of what I think of the game and I'm just going to talk about it and have a little bit of fun playing it um, this is my first time playing it by myself so I know how to play it because I've played it online but it's my first time playing by myself um, I did join my friend's server or whatever it was, um, I don't know how the online works but it does lag a lot and it cancels like your map, like backs you out and then deletes everything for some reason. So here's a tutorial and I don't have to go through it because if you get the game it's straightforward, um, it's really easy to control your cat and stuff but the first problem you're going to find is sensitivity, um, look how slow it's moving. I personally like my games going quite fast paced and this is quite slow so to change it you go to controls and change the X sensitivity up to 10 and the Y sensitivity up to 10 and it's still pretty slow at 10 but it's better than having it down at like 6 or whatever so go to relics after that and as you can see you can unlock you can unlock things like a jetpack, night vision and the night vision will be handy at night time um, it, it will actually be really handy and water walk I think that's where you can walk on water but um, I think you've got to find them somewhere I don't know why um, I don't know where they are, I don't know how you get them or anything, but anyway, you can play this game in first person, as you can see, or third person, but when you're in third person, you can't demolish anything, um, but you can do this, which is pretty cool, I'll show you right now, just turn the camera, and if you hold the d-pad and change it somewhere, and um, we'll put it to this, I think someone's just joined my game, which I hate, um, your character can like do an emotion sort of thing, it's like an animation, but um, a problem I find with this game is, as you can see you've got an axe on first person, but if I was to delete this um, thing here, it doesn't actually like, move the axe, you just like sort of delete the item on its own, like it just magically deletes itself, and if I was to build something, um, we just plant gold here, like it just plants and your axe doesn't move or anything, so that's quite annoying, so I'm just going to like, walk around the place and show you what it's like basically. Um, D-pad changes like what you want to build and stuff so that's pretty good. I'm probably just going to build a little house inside the rocks already um, just to show you what it's like. Oh yeah a fun thing that's in the game is a trampoline and I think it's meant to help you if, if you wanted to go somewhere then the trampoline is meant to help you get there. So I'm just going to climb up here for a little bit and yeah I don't think the trampoline will get me up there that's a bit impossible. Um, I don't I don't see why these things are floating because that's just questioning gravity and it's quite annoying. <laughs> and the background like everything keeps moving up and that's really really annoying. And people keep joining my game for some reason and I don't know why. I, w I forgot to turn it off so they can't join. And it seems that everyone's joining now and it's really annoying. I don't even know who they are. Um, just like they're random to me I don't know who they are. So I'll just plant a trampoline here. And as you can see you bounce on the trampoline. Boing! Boing! Let's all have fun on trampolines. <laughs> Whee. Okay, so if I was to maybe build something in here, okay, I'll get a torch out just in case I need it. Okay, so I'm going to say this is my little house place that I want to build. And I think it just lagged there because these people are in the game. I don't like it when people join. Just try to have some fun on my own. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just say this is like the little house that I'm building here. We'll just make a small one just to show you what it's like. Um, I have no idea if you can make any beds or anything, so I have no idea. I've just like got used to like um, the basic stuff. And I probably will be making more Fortress Craft videos. So if you want to see some more, then subscribe or something and 
like the video if you do like the video. <laughs> That's why the like button's there. But anyway, this is going to be my little house area. Um, I will plant a torch. And that lights the place up. But one problem that me and my friend found was the lighting in the game, it sort of like breaks itself basically. Um, this could be light. Um, say if I planted a bookshelf here, this whole room will just go dark, like pitch black, even though I've got that there. So, um, oh damn, I forgot how to build something. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so if I was to plant a bookshelf, if I can find one. As you can see, it's going dark and then it, it goes really pitch black after like five seconds. <sighs> Just depends where you are. But anyway, f there's another thing that people are struggling with it's how to remove these from the map. And I found an easy way. Basically, you can't pick them up, so plant something on top of it, then delete the item. And then that's the torch gone away, so don't need to worry about the torch anymore. So I'm going to sh show you another sort of light that you can use an electric light. These are pretty cool. It's like a blue light and it gives a blue reflection. So anyway, this is going to be my little house for now. So, as you can see, that's my house. <laughs> as I've said, um, there is a bit of problems with like the lighting and stuff in the game. Um, the online, like if you were to join a friend session, that would be annoying. Um, when you're in third person, if you run into like a square, then it starts like... It's like a little bug, it like, just keeps bouncing you around, it's really annoying. And what have I found? Like a little cave. Oh wow. Okay, I might need a torch down here, so... Let me see. Well, you can get TNT, but you need a detonator for it. So we'll just use a torch. Yeah, there we go. And that's another glitch there, you can see it's like a bug, but you can see through the map. And people keep joining my game for some reason, I don't know why. I don't even know them, but they seem to be joining. Okay, so like, digging around under the ground here. And I think it's getting, no it's not getting dark, it's just, because I'm down here. Where did I plant that? Okay. I'm going to build like an underground place. And it's sort of like the Matrix here, if you've ever seen the Matrix. <laughs> As you can see, the lighting's quite horrible. They need to sort that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to make like steps under the ground here. And this could be like a little underground base sort of place. Maybe plant that down here. I don't know why that's floating. Um, I'll just try and remove that. Hang on. As I've said, you plant bricks on it and then remove the bricks. The lighting's quite weird. Um, that light's up there, but it's showing light down here for some reason. Now it's all dark. So yeah, there's a torch. And I've not seen any animals of that in the game, or any like things that will try and kill you or anything. So I'd like to see them maybe add some things like that into the game. And maybe some quests, like if there was characters on the map or something, and they gave you quests or whatever, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's well, see what happens if I put a trampoline down here. Oh! lagging for some reason. I think it's because people keep joining the game. Okay, let's keep like a little underground trampoline area. <laughs> okay, now I'm like stuck. Okay, I'm not. Okay, this is the underground trampoline area where you have fun. Wee. Okay, I'm going to like plant a torch up there. While I'm like on the trampoline. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wee. Okay, I've just had an idea. Haha. -ha. 
this will be like the best map ever. <laughs> Seriously. This is my hidden base. Where you can get a book. Just one single book. This is pretty, uh, this is like a pretty fun game so I'd advise you like getting it because it is really fun and you can do quite a lot on it. Just got to move this torch. So there you go, you get a trampoline to go up to the cool area. Okay, so let's just get over here. It's just like a little passage that I've made. <laughs> where you can get a book. I think it's getting dark time outside. Yeah, it's starting to get quite dark. I should probably put like a blue light down here to remind me where it is. blue light down here somewhere. Um, let's put it here. That should light up the area. Probably put one right here for a random reason. <laughs> no reason at all, just put it there. Okay, so I really can't remember where I built my house. Um, is that over there? Anyway, this game's pretty fun and I would recommend it. And as you can see, it lags a lot because people are in the game. And I think they need to sort that out. And I don't think it's because of my connection or anything. So far I'd give the game about 6 out of 10 and if they did work on it a lot more then it would probably get like 10 out of 10. Okay I'm just going to take a shortcut. Where's the trampoline? I don't know what happened there. Let's do it again. Yeah, why is it doing that? That is not that's not a TV, that's a part of the game that does that just to let you know. And I think I'm away that back down here. Um As I've said, if I might like do a lot more of these videos, so if you want to see a lot more then stay tuned. Yeah, there you go. See it's a little shortcut you can it's not a shortcut, it's a little thing you can do to help you get up to higher places a lot faster. So this game is pretty fun and I would recommend it to anyone even if you don't like Minecraft because I'm not a Minecraft fan myself but this is a completely different game and give it a chance at least and at least try and build some fun things because the game can be fun and if you play it with some friends then you can build something nice together, build a little home, play mummy and daddy. <laughs> um, so yeah check out the game it's quite cheap only 240 Microsoft points I think um, there is a few problems with it as I've said the lighting the like when you're connecting to your friends um, when you demolish some bricks you can see through it um, third person when you run into things but there's a lot of good things in it like just having fun and building things just like having fun all together it's a really fun game and it gives you a break from like other games that you're playing that you're maybe bored of so just give this game a shot everyone and I'm going to be doing more fortress craft videos so if you want to see more just stay tuned so thanks for watching and this game has received a 6 out of 10 from rejections thank you for watching goodbye